So the way I always begin a piece is with pencil on paper. Uh, I like to work out thumbnails. Um, in this case, I'm sketching like full size on these uh, sketchbook pages uh, to just kind of find the shapes and the and the composition of the piece. Um, normally, I would then build a reference mock-up. In this case, I'm, I'm going to go straight from the drawing into the painting, uh, which means I'm priming my surface here uh, with a kind of like a neutral oil on gesso. And then I set up my projector and start putting the piece onto the board in paint. Um, in this case, just working directly from that sketch that I had done. Now I do want to use reference. Uh, I didn't really have for, for a piece like this, anything real specific. I had to do a lot of invention with it. So, you know, I went and shot some pictures of frogs and used that to inform the shapes and the texture and the, the lighting, all that kind of stuff. And then everything else in this particular piece, I'm, I'm just uh, kind of inventing as I paint it. It's not normally how I work actually, but um, I'm trying to experiment with uh, doing a little bit more kind of whole cloth creation, I guess, uh, or maybe I should say trying to not rely so much on having everything like perfectly figured out and spelled out in photo reference and, and 3D render and that kind of thing. So I have uh, my rough color block in, and then I start going in with increasingly more opaque layers of paint and just kind of building the, the shadows and the highlights and developing the form in that way. I like to often start with a focal area. Uh, I used to be that I would do the opposite and save the focal areas to last, but I really feel like this helps me uh, kind of find the piece early and help that guide me on my way through. So you can see um, as I'm building up these, these uh, kind of shadow and highlights, it starts to take shape. And once I feel like an area is holding together, I'll move on to, to the next, whatever feels like the next most important thing. So I start with my key focal points and I just kind of work outward from there. Uh, or sometimes work to, in this case, like I did the head and then get into the arms and legs and hands and feet, kind of um, focusing on that similarity of the, the, the frog skin. Uh, the um, building of the highlights and shadows, I like to do this wet and wet. Uh, Sometimes I do feel like it's better to let a layer dry and come back on top. And lately I've also been working with some drying agents, which it's really just a matter of feel. Uh, your surface also makes a big difference there, just getting a handle on um, what feels right to you. Uh, same with your brushes even, just, just trying different things and, and figuring out like what responds well to, to uh, the effect that you want to get. And then, um, yeah, as, so now the, the frog is roughly, I think, pretty, pretty finished. And so then I start building this cape, which really satisfying sometimes with something like this. Like I knew this, this big red shape was going to um, add a lot of punch to the image. And, and it is really fun to kind of like see that come out. Uh, I didn't have any kind of color study or anything in advance. I just had the, um, you know, color photos of the frogs to go off of and then uh, just kind of having some intentions and then finding it as I go. And I'm, I'm really doing a lot more kind of freeform exploration in this than I sometimes do, like the design on the hammer and things like that. I'm just kind of making it up as I, as I do it here. Um, but, you know, just based on an understanding of 
having painted similar kind of textures and objects before. Same with this, with this rock, with these shadows, uh, really kind of trying to rely on my um, past experience of what makes these things feel the way I want them to feel. Like even just adding that little bit of warmth around the cast shadows uh, is something just, just a little kind of warm edge in the transition between the shadow and the rock really helps pull it together. And then um, I also, as I got into the sky, went and uh, grabbed some photos that I happened to have taken of some clouds and just kind of, again, looking at the, looking at the, the kind of like the shapes and the tones and trying to bring that, you know, make it work with what's already here. So at this point, um, you know, the, the piece is just pretty much done, putting those finishing touches, signing it, and then I will wait for it to, to dry, give it a varnish, and then shoot the uh, final piece.